What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick test of the onboard PS5 storage and the NVMe M2 SSD storage. With this beta update, you can play PS5 games directly off of an external SSD. And in my previous video, I went ahead to install one to test out this new feature. And turns out it works out pretty well. Right now, as you can see, the game that I'm playing right now is Spider-Man Miles Morales. This is a PS5 game, and I'm playing this game directly off of the SSD. So the external SSD that I installed yesterday, one terabyte. You can check out that video at the top of the screen right now. I'm not saying it's the best M2 SSD out there to try out right now, so you can go ahead and try out the other ones. The link will be down in the description if you're looking to pick up any of them. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the internal storage to the one I installed in my previous video, the M2 SSD, based on three different criteria. So the transfer speeds, the game load up speeds, as well as performance. So at 30 frames and at 60 frames per second. So I'm gonna close the game right now and relaunch it to test out the game load up speed. First of all, we'll do the M2 storage. I'll show you guys that this game is on the M2 storage and not my internal storage. I'll show you guys right quickly, close the game. And then I'm gonna head over to settings up here and then go into storage. And you'll see I have three options. My console storage, my M2 SSD storage, and my USB HDD extended storage. So M2 storage, you can see there's a few games on there. I think I've moved two games onto it. The NBA 2K21 and Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. So you guys know it's on M2 SSD. All right, let's go ahead and load up the game from M2 SSD and I'll time it and then go ahead and do it for the second one as well. Here we are on the home page. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Spider-Man Miles Morales to play it directly from the M2 SSD. What I noticed, it looks like it moved pretty quickly, it didn't take any time at all. Okay, let's go ahead and test out 60 frames and 30 frames per second. So this is the M21, I'm gonna go ahead and play a random game session right now, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm loaded up into the game. Right now I think I'm at 30 frames, and I'm gonna check my settings right now and see that it's at 30 frames per second. Visual right there, fidelity, which is 30 frames per second. We're gonna hop around a little bit and see how smoothly it operates. As you guys can see right now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but personally, from my end, it looks like it's pretty smooth. Everything feels just like it would when playing off of the internal SSD. So I've played a lot of games off of the internal SSD, and honestly, this feels exactly the same. No difference at all. Okay, let's go ahead and try out 60 frames per second really quickly here. I'm gonna move on to the settings, uh, visual. So we're going to try out performance RT so this is 60 frames per second I'm gonna go ahead and close this up apply and restart and you'll see that we're gonna be in 60 frames okay so gameplay is pretty smooth even at 60 frames per second no lags nothing at all I'm not noticing anything at all now we're gonna go ahead and move this game into internal storage so we can see how it matches up against that okay so our app is now closed I'm gonna go ahead and move it so I'm gonna hit the options button and I'm gonna move games and apps and then as you can see right there we have moved to console storage moved to USB extended storage so I'm gonna move to console storage and I'm gonna select Miles Morales and I'm just gonna move it now we're gonna test out the transfer speed between the external SSD and the onboard console storage so I'm gonna hit okay here I'm gonna see how quickly it moves or how slowly it moves I already did this yesterday and it moved pretty quickly in my opinion I think it took about maybe three to five minutes it wasn't a long time at all you know it's between two SSDs, so I'd expect it to be fast nothing crazy but it's pretty fast
Okay, we're done moving the 39 gigabyte game files from the external storage to the console storage. So I'm talking about the M2 SSD, not USB extended storage. Now we need to make sure that the game is on the console storage. I'm pretty sure it is on there, but we're gonna check. So settings, storage right there, console storage, and then we're gonna check out games and app. As you can see, we've got Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales on the console storage. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and launch Spider-Man Miles Morales off of the console storage and see how fast it loads up. Right there, so it's pretty quick as well. I'm gonna go ahead and test out 30 versus 60 frames per second on the console storage as well. Okay, so currently we're at 60 frames per second. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right quickly in the settings option and visual. So performance RT, 60 frames per second. Let's go ahead and move with this. As you can see, this feels pretty much the same as the other one. Feels just like playing off of the M2 SSD. So it's pretty much the same. All right, let's go ahead and try out 30 frames per second. So settings, visual, and we're gonna go into fidelity mode, which is 30 frames per second. Okay, here we go. So this feels literally like 30 frames per second, just like on the M2 SSD. So to me, honestly, from what I can tell, they're virtually the same in performance. There's no difference at all that I'm able to pick up or notice, so I'm not seeing anything. So it's going to have to be in the speed of the drives if there's anything at all. Right now, everything feels pretty smooth. There's no issues at all. I haven't had any issues gaming directly off of my M2 SSD drive. No overheating issues, no performance, depreciation, nothing. I haven't lost anything yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the game right back from console storage to our M2 SSD. Now I'm gonna move it. So move games and apps, and I'm gonna move it directly to the M2 SSD storage. As you can see, the two tabs at the top, movable to M2 and then movable to USB. Okay, so that's already done. So from what I can tell, it's faster to move from console storage to the M2 SSD storage. The read speed that the PlayStation was able to detect from the M2 SSD that I've installed on my PlayStation 5 was about 5,536.77 something. So somewhere around there, but the drive promised that I'd get up to 7,000, but that might be for, you know, larger drives because I've only got a one terabyte one inside of it. If you maybe get a two terabyte or four terabyte one, it might be faster. So far, the only difference I've noticed between the M2 SSD and the console storage is in the transfer speed. There's virtually no difference in the game load up speed between both of the drives, the onboard one and the external one from what I've noticed. But if there's any, then it's really, really minor. These things might change based on the kind of drive you get, based on the read speed and stuff like that. If you wanna know more about the drive that I installed, make sure to check out the video at the top of the screen or go down in the description to check out this item on Amazon as well as other items that are similar or work, you know, similar like this one that can work for your PS5. If there are any other differences that you guys have noticed or think might be a thing, let me know down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to run the likes on it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will see you guys in my next video. It's your boy Midas, and I'm out of here, y'all.